It is Wednesday, 24th of June, 2020. Sometimes what you're looking for comes when you are not looking at all. That's Mary Engelbright. It won't focus. Lord. Okay, so it's Wednesday, and this is a learn to pray video or a pray together video. I am Penny Nelson, and welcome. Welcome to my life. Welcome to my bedroom. Welcome to the space that I have today. And maybe, well, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're joining me. So today what you can expect is you can you can look at the video and see how long it is and that's how much time you're going to need. We are going to read the Bible together and we're going to read Psalms 146 if you want to grab your Bible. We're going to read that. We're going to try to eat eat spiritually and then we're I'm going to give you an opportunity for you to pray by yourself out loud and then um so, and how you'll do that is you'll pause the video and pray for a little while and then come back and then um, we're going to pray together. And um, there's other videos that I have, have explained more, like why we're doing what we're doing and how we're doing it. So today I'm just going to try to just do it. So this video is not really intended to be looked at because there's really not much to see here. <laughs> it's intended to be listened to. So this is an opportunity for us to pray together. Have I reminded you how much I love you? Have I told you how much I love you? And All right, we'll just get right into it today. We're going to get right into it. I have a theme. Now today, or I guess I'd say right now, um, I have some things that are going on in my life. And I have some questions and some struggles. And um, so I kind of have those questions in my mind, which is one thing you can do. That's what it's a good idea to talk to God about your problems and your thoughts and, and what to do and what's going on. So um, I wrote a word on a note card on the back of this note card. And I'm just going to see what I can find to go with it. We're, we're going with Psalms 146. Okay, so we'll just read some. Oh God, I just pray that you help me and speak to me today. I pray that you speak to the viewer. Thank you for bringing them along, God. I pray that you would teach us how to, um, how to, how to feed ourselves. How to you would help us to mature. You would help us to grow, and you would help us to to look at this. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God as long as I live. Do not put your trust in princes, in mortal men who cannot save. When their spirit departs, they return to the ground. On that day, their plans come to nothing. Blessed is he whose help is in the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, the maker of heaven and earth, the sea and everything in them, the Lord who remains faithful forever. He upholds the cause of the oppressed and gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets prisoners free. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the alien and sustains the fatherless and the widow. But he frustrates the way of the wicked. The Lord reigns forever. For you, O oh God. Hold on. The Lord reigns forever. Your God, O oh Zion, for all generations. Oops, I lost you out of the frame. Other way. Praise the Lord. Okay, so I just try to think on it. And we'll kind of go over it together. 
is not the best way. I'm not, I'm not comfortable. I'm not comfortable. Me, me, me. I'm not comfortable. <laughs> I'll just be uncomfortable. And slow, I guess. Okay. Praise the Lord. So I have a choice in that. I can choose to praise him. I have a choice. And it says E. What does that mean? Hallelujah. Maybe hallelujah. Also verse 10. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, O my soul. Now I've been studying about that, about the soul. You have um, your spirit, your soul, and your body. So the soul, from what my understanding lately is, that's what... It can be the part of you that's obstinate inside of you. It's like that bratty kid that always, that's what, on one hand, like, for example, I decide that it is the best thing for me to get up at five in the morning. But every morning, part of me says, no, I don't want to get up at five in the morning. That's your soul. So, um, so praise the Lord, oh, my soul. So I tell myself, listen, you praise Listen, you soul, get it together. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God as long as I live. So I could take a few minutes on that. Take my mind off the other things that are in it and just praise God and just thank him. And just thank him. So come on, soul. Get it together. Do not put your trust in princes, in mortal men who cannot save. When their spirit departs, they return to the ground. On that very day, their plans come to nothing. So how can we take that apart? How can we look at it? Okay, so who is it talking to? Well, me, I would say me, my soul, right? So... Do not put your trust. Okay, so I have trust I can put somewhere. It's recommended that I not put it in princes, in mortal men who cannot save. So the reverse of it is put your trust in eternal things who can save. Okay, so we already know who that is. That's what there's, there's mortal and there's immortal. Okay. Because for mortal men, when their spirit departs, they return to the ground. On that very day, their plans come to nothing. So it's important that I put my trust in the right thing. So I would definitely want to do that. That would be wisdom. Okay, so here comes a blessing. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God. So let's describe who he is, the maker of heaven and earth, the sea, and everything in them, the Lord who remains faithful forever. Okay, well, it's interesting to me. He's the God of Jacob, so that'd be the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and that'd be the God of Penny Nelson, whose hope is in the Lord his God. So let's clarify who he is, the maker of heaven and earth, that's creator, the sea, everything in them. The Lord who remains faithful forever, forever. So that speaks of his character. Okay, so let's see. So these are some of the things that he does. So I would say we could even claim these as promises because this is what he says he does. He upholds the cause of the oppressed and gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets prisoners free. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. So that's what I would want to be qualified as righteous. So there's qualifiers for that, and I would want that to be. So there's there's humility here. So if we bow ourselves down, he lifts us up. The Lord loves the righteous. Now, for all of us, righteousness comes from Christ. So we can all receive righteousness as a gift. Okay, the Lord watches over the alien and sustains the fatherless and the widow, but he frustrates the way of the wicked. So there are people that God is taking care of. And there are people that he's allowing to be frustrated. So why would God do that? Because he's not mean and cruel and hard-hearted, but he wants us to turn to him. He wants us to turn to him. So sometimes some, peop some people's ways are frustrated 
Well, God's trying to get their attention. He's given them an opportunity. The Lord reigns forever. Your God, O Zion, your God, O Zion, for all generations, praise the Lord. The Lord reigns forever. Your God, O Zion, for all generations. That's who again, who we're talking to? Okay. All right. Well, that sounds good. So now, it would be a good time. Okay, well, I, because, I think it's because I put my video... Anyways, you can't make, leave comments. I have to figure out how to do that. So if you do have any comments, you could email penny underscore nelson at yahoo.com. P-E-N-N-I-E -N -N -E underscore nelson, N-E-L-S-O-N, -E at yahoo, Y A H O O dot com. Look, <laughs> it's my timer. It's time to drink water. Drink water every 30 minutes. Also, um, I just did a cross crunchy trek picking up my Aunt Sally from Portland, and on the way back, my other timer bit the dust. <laughs> I had to get another one. <laughs> so, this is my new timer. Timers really help me because I'm time oriented and I get upset about things like how long things are taking. So if I have a timer, then I know that I can relax and just trust. It's, it's something I don't, it helps me to be able to let down my guard, let down my guard. And there might be some things that you need to do to let down your guard so that you can just pray and talk to the Lord. So that's what I'm going to encourage you to oh the point of you, me giving you your email was did you have any thoughts about psalms 146 and if you'd like to share them you'll have to email me until i can figure out how to fix my youtube channel which i'm not in a hurry to do it's not on the list at all <laughs> needs to be before i do my excuse me soap making video but it's not on the list today so let's start with that's what you get a timer um could you just read until you find something that you can eat, <laughs> and then can you talk to him about it? So I'm, I recommend that you put this on pause, and then take three to five minutes, or maybe you're buff now. I'm working my way up. I pray for 15 minutes in the morning, I, personally, you know, just alone, solitary, what's that, single prayer, not group prayer, and then I was trying to add in another five minutes at five, but that's pretty much falling apart, but I could commit again. Okay, so stop the video, pray for a few minutes, and come back. Okay, now we're going to pray together. About three minutes. Easily do three. Okay, three minutes. Thank you, Lord. We're going to pray together. We're going to pray together. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You are the maker, the creator of heaven and earth. You are God alone. You are God alone. So when I have Psalms 146 in mind, uh, that's what I mainly just have this one thing on my mind, Lord. Lord, your word says in Psalms 146 that you are going to take care. You're going to uphold, uphold the cause of the oppressed. You're going to give food to the hungry. You're the one who sets prisoners free. The Lord, you're the one who gives sight to the blind. The Lord's the one who lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous, and anyone can receive righteousness. You just have to receive Christ. Lord, I first of all, I pray for the listener. I pray for the viewer that's here today. And I just wonder, that's what, I don't be totally honest with you, Lord, and I don't be totally honest with them because I just don't feel comfortable dumping everything out in front of everybody on YouTube, even though it's only three people who listen to it. <laughs> Lord, I pray for the viewer. Lord, I pray for the viewer. I pray that for the person who's there. They have problems and concerns, and they have things that are going on in their life. They have husbands or wives. They have children. They have mothers, fathers. 
brothers, sisters, they have family members. They have church family members. Lord, you said, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, strength, and mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. How do I love, how do I love my neighbor, Lord? How do you want me to love this particular neighbor, this particular person? Lord, I come to you in humility, Lord, and just thanking you for all the provision, all the ways that you've taken care of me, Lord. God, I, I forgive, I, I do, I, I have resentment and bitterness and anger and Ugh. Lord, I, I surrender these things, Lord. I surrender my, what I think are my rights. Lord, I pray that you help the viewer learn to pray, Lord. I pray that you help the viewer learn to pray. I pray that you, your light, it would, it would be light and life coming for me. Okay, I wanted to show you the word I wrote down and what I was praying about. Expectations of others on me, a follower of Christ. That's what I'm praying about because I... I uh, so uh, how did this answer that? question that I had. Okay, well, I'm sure I have responsibility somewhere, but it shows me what God's responsibility is, what God will do, and when it comes down to it, that's what, what am I going to do for the oppressed? Um, <sighs> that's about all. <laughs> you could pray for me. We have some have some things so this is not perfect it does not count as perfect but it counts as done it counts as done so um, I appreciate you coming along thank you for for joining me here and I am praying for you and if you have any um, commitments that you're making that's all it's good it's all good it's not perfect but it's done it's Wednesday and we did it Hey, I love you. Thank you. <sighs>